Hello, you're watching Got Space Game and it's time for DCS and 3 or less. Today we're in the Mirage F1EE, showing how to start the aircraft and rapid align the INS. I don't speak French, so I've let the English cockpit mod do the translation. As usual, control bindings at the end of the video. If you want to remove the radar shroud, click the screw while the cockpit is still open. Press Ctrl and C to close the canopy, and lock it with the lever. Turn on the battery and the first five electrical switches. Press both switches to silence the alarm, see if it turns back on, and just kill it again. Check that the red switch is not in the inboard position and turn on the high pressure pump. Turn on both low pressure pumps, the starter pump, open the cover and hold down the start switch for about a second. The timing is very important at this point. You're looking for 1000 RPM on the top gauge here. That's when the long hand reaches zero again. At this point, click on the throttle to advance it to idle. The engine should stabilize at about 2900 RPM and just over 400 degrees. Reset the hydraulics to clear the bottom row of warning lights. Reset the inverter and you should just be left with the heading warning light. Set the compass to gyromagnetic and turn on the backup compass. Put the INS system into standby mode. Check that the display mode is in current position. Depending on your settings in Mission Editor, this may or may not be correct. Bring up the F10 map to check. Hold Alt and click on your own aircraft. Go back to the cockpit view, and here we can see that our display position is incorrect. Set the display mode to waypoint position. Waypoint 1 should correspond to our starting point. You can see that this is also incorrect. If the current position and the waypoint 1 position are correct, then you can do a stored heading alignment. As it stands, we can either do a fast alignment in about three and a half minutes, or a full alignment in eight. Either way, we set the start point first, enter the northing, input it on the keypad, and press insert. Now we'll do the same with the easting. Note that I've rounded the last decimal place here. Now dial in your alignment type, I'm going with rapid alignment. Press the star button and the align light will start to flash. Clear out the info from the map, turn on your cabin air, turn on the VOR and put the TACAN in transmit receive. Turn on the HUD and the fuel dipper. Set the HSI to navigation normal. Uncage and zero the backup ADI. Zero the main altimeter but leave the backup altimeter at sea level. That's going to help you with altitude calculations for bombing. Make sure there's no warning lights lit up on this part of the dash. Set the radar to standby. Set the primary radio to main plus guard, and manual or preset as preferred. Turn the backup radio on. Set the flaps fully aft for takeoff. Hide the control column and check your trim. Set the IFF as required. Set shock cones to auto, and check the nose wheel steering setting. In is high sensitivity. Arm the ejection seat by scrolling the mouse wheel here until the red tag is pulled out. That's everything, so let's check the alignment. With two solid lights, the alignment is ready. Put the INS into nav mode, bring up the current position, and you'll see that it's now correct. Scroll to waypoint 2, and press the star key to make it the active waypoint. With the HSI in normal mode, you've now got distance and bearing to the first waypoint. Disengage the parking brake and give it a tiny bit of throttle to taxi. I've been Dan, and you've been watching DCS and 3 or less from Godspace Game. Huge thanks to all my Koji supporters, and if you found this useful, please subscribe for more 3-minute tutorials on all of your favourite DCS modules.